second, 2018 edition of Ferry County View, Superior Court by Brenda Starkey, Republic, a man facing federal drug charges, another man facing the possibility of life in prison, and a 12-year-old boy were arraigned in Ferry County Superior Court Monday. Dwayne E. Gray, 62, Republic, who is facing drug charges in U.S. District Court, pleaded not guilty to delivery of a controlled substance, methamphetamine, possession of a controlled substance, methamphetamine, second degree introducing contraband, and possession of a controlled substance in a county correctional institution. The charges stem from an incident on April 21st where Gray allegedly brought methamphetamine into the Ferry County Jail and two other inmates tested positive for the substance. Bail was set at $10,000 and the court was told that federal marshals have contacted the jail about Gray's case. The charges here could be considered a violation of his federal conditions of release. A June 4th trial date was set in the case. Teddy R. Sibley pleaded not guilty to two counts of second degree assault, two counts of fourth degree assault, interfering with reporting of domestic violence, harassment, threats to kill, two counts of first degree kidnapping, reckless endangerment, and a th third degree driving without a license. The charges stem from a series of incidents in Inchileam that involved his girlfriend and children. Because of his past criminal history, if he is convicted on these charges, he could face life imprisonment as a persistent offender since this could be his third strike of violent crimes. He is being held on $150,000 bail and attorney Timothy D. Tregesser has been appointed to represent him. Sibley waived his right to a speedy trial through August and an August 6th trial was set in his case. A 12-year-old boy pleaded not guilty to harassment, threats to kill. The charge stems from alleged threats against teachers and office staff at the Curlew School. Other students told the principal about the threats according to court records. The situation is still under investigation, court records say. Jason Lee Strandberg Biggs pleaded not guilty to escape from community custody. A June 4th trial was set in the case. Biggs is being held on $10,000 bail. Tamothy M. Marchand pleaded not guilty to escape from community custody. Penny M. McCoy Malo pleaded not guilty to second degree assault, domestic violence, fourth degree assault, domestic violence, and interfering with reporting of domestic violence. The charges stem from a disagreement with her husband at their Melo residence on April 21st. A July 3rd trial was set in the case. She is free on $1,000 bail and signed a waiver of extradition so that she can return to her home state of Kentucky while awaiting the trial. Billy A. Backus was sentenced to six months in jail with a credit for time served. He must also repay a $1,157 legal obligation, which includes $357 in restitution. A trial date was stricken in the case involving Wanda L. Jackson. A May 14th hearing was set in the case. Mark J. Atkinson waived his right to a speedy trial through July, and a July 3rd trial was set in his case.